Hey, this is Notzer, and this is the Tier 10 US Destroyer gearing. She has 6 main guns, 10 torpedoes, 30 AA guns, a surface detection of 5.9 kilometers, top speed 37.8 knots, total health 23,400. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main battery, increase main battery accuracy, rate of fire, reduce the chance of flood and fire, faster rudder shift, concealment. For my commander, situation awareness, basic firing training, Last Stand, Superintendent, Survival Expert, and Concealment again. We are on the map, two brothers. And you'll notice the game is pretty small. It has a lot of tier 10s, a couple tier 9s, and maybe a token tier 8. So most of my team has decided, let's go west. Well, that's great, but what if you don't run into the enemy? I always like to know where the enemy is. That's what I do, even when I shouldn't. And when I'm in a gearing, I especially feel like I can shadow the enemy. Of course, they're going to have situation awareness. There's really not a person playing at high tier that doesn't have it. It's free information. It's just that, free information. We've got an Ismo, Hindenburg. We've got to deal with that. And it looks like the enemy has committed to pushing the eastern flank. Enemy Zhao, that's not good to see either. Friendly lands a big shot on the Hindenburg, and I would not like to be that guy. Losing 40,000 hit points in a single salvo is not something that I would like to experience. I can't even experience that in this game. I've only got 23,000. But what? We're scouted by a ship? We are not scouting the ship? We've got 5.9 kilometer detection. This has to be a ship with full concealment. Oh, did you see it? I did not pick up on it. In the game, I did not see that destroyer. I figured it was a destroyer, of course. But I didn't know exactly where he was. So you can see I'm kind of looking around. But I saw it on the mini-map. He was somewhere around F8. For a very tiny amount of time. So we figure, let's use our torpedo cooldown. Let's go after the Izumo. The Izumo might be pushing this flank. Maybe he's going to be lazy. Who knows? Now let's just take stock of what's going on exactly. We've got an Izumo, a Hindenburg, we've got a Zhao, we've got a destroyer of some description over on this flank. The Hindenburg has apparently healed up about 7, 8k of the health that it had. And it looks like the Izumo is moving so slow and we're scouted again. This guy is just barely on the edge and there he goes. We finally get to see him. Of course, incoming rounds, and we take a huge shot. And, hey, at least we see how many people are actually attacking this flank. It is seven. Seven ships so far. Knocks out a propulsion, knocks out steering, we pop our smoke, we wait until we're fully behind the island before we use damage control. I don't want to lose that again, okay? It's not fun. Torpedo system's completely ineffective, but this is not good. We don't have the advantage as long as that destroyer exists. And I would love to take him out. I've been trying to get a really good tier 10 game. I have the Des Moines, of course. I have Yamato. I have the Gearing. Shimikaze. We just got the Zhao also. And I was actually surprised by the torpedo range of the Zhao. It feels a lot like a German cruiser. Eight kilometers is very hard to make use of. You don't have the window of detectability that you usually have with all other Japanese cruisers. So it's a little awkward, mainly relying on my guns. They're fantastic, of course, but you can't really use your torpedoes unless it's an emergency, quite honestly. Everyone has great range. No one wants to get within eight kilometers of you. If you predict a ship is going to move into range, that's one thing. But otherwise, it's really hard to make use of the torpedoes like I would do on the Otago or a lower tier Japanese cruiser. Now, we had to give ground. I expect that the enemy destroyer is going to make use of my smoke. It's just built into their DNA. So what I have tried to do, and this is more recent, is get beyond the detectability of my ship, past the smoke. And I am someone who will break my rules 
And here he is. He's right on top of us. Wow, this is not what I wanted to see. We move our guns, shooting center mass, trying to knock out his torpedo tubes. You can see him aiming, but he doesn't have a good angle. We have the advantage here. We take fire from the enemy. Of course, it does maximum damage on us. Why not? They destroy our back gun because that's the gearing. And it is so frustrating. But he doesn't have a good angle. We're going to finish him off before he has the ability to send out his torpedoes. Now, we've taken huge shots from the enemy. They have been 100% accurate with their shots. Look at this. We're down to 1,500. I didn't feel like I was completely out in the open, justifiably taking tons of damage. But in an instant, 10, 15, 20 seconds, we lost 15,000 hit points, basically. We lost two of our guns. We're down to one, which is pretty much useless. It's now a Shibakaze for all intents and purposes. <laughs> I'm going to basically sail around, avoid detection, and send out my torpedoes against the enemy. That's what I've become. And it's becoming more often that that is exactly how I have to play the gearing. I don't know if it's me. Do I expect too much out of the ship? Do I expect players to miss more often than they probably are at this point? Yes, of course. I just need to do a better job of putting myself in position to only take fire from one enemy at a time. That's really what it boils down to because you just can't trust these players to miss their shots anymore. It's just not happening. It's either a combination of skill or taking advantage of certain mods that for some reason exist. I hate it. I think it's the worst part about wargaming products is that mods impact the balance of the game. And one mod in particular is taking advantage of a built-in feature that existed in alpha. They took it out but they didn't do a good enough job of completely wiping it out. They are constantly battling this mod. I don't know what they do, but it's annoying. Now, we predicted that Zhao would try to make a pass through the gap. We do tons of torpedo damage, cause a flood. He was already on fire. It looks like he can't put out the fire or the flood. He's trying to make use of his heal. And normally, I would fire on this target, but I only got one gun. It's not worth the risk. It's better for me to just watch as he burns down slash flood. Help my buddy behind me, who's doing a pretty good job. I'm really hoping he hits this shot, though. We need him dead, and he misses. Ah, he put out the flyer. It's a combination of flood and fire. Trying to say the words together as one. <laughs> he puts out the fire and the flood with damage control, most likely. Come on, buddy. Get this guy dead. He's showing a ton of his side. He should die. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We really did need that. We really did need it. Now this Ismo, he's still moving forward. Not that impressive, quite honestly. Considering that Zhao on my team has about 75% of his health. It seems like everyone wanted to fire on me. Jerks. That's what it seems like all the time. But that's okay. That's okay. I can take it. I just need the team to take advantage of the attention that is garnered by my overaggression at times. Let's let's be real, not sir. You're you're just a little too aggressive. I know. I know. 50% is me just wanting to entertain myself. Now, the Izumo, we're setting up. We're just on that borderline detection. We might actually be detected. We send out our torpedoes ahead of the Izumo. I'm trying to not be super overextended, but we get a little bit too close, and we're detected for that. Secondaries are going off. So far, they haven't hit me, but I'm afraid that they might actually hit me. Oh, no! This is my nightmare. Now, it's a nightmare for him, too, because he's sailing right in my torpedoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we take him out. Actually, we take him out with five, not sir. Can you count? Yes, I can. We take him out. Devastating strike. And I'd say we did a pretty good job. Myself and the Zhao were able to hold off about three enemies and take them out. Completely destroy them. Now, I am basically dead. I can't fire my gun. For whatever reason, the enemy instantly attracts me. Don't know why. And 
I have a couple cruisers in front of me. A Des Moines is very terrifying. For a low health destroyer, he will work me down so fast. And it looks like he's actually headed this way. So I was like, eh, maybe I should go on the other side of the island. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Friendlies are giving up a little bit though. Maybe they're trying too hard to capture. The aircraft comes close. We actually had our AA on. Uh, he got a little tell of where we were going for half a second. That might come back and bite us. We've got, of course, the Hindenburg. He's still low health, 50%. No one's really firing on him. He's staying in the back. We have a good angle on him. And for whatever reason, I don't know why the Zhao is pushing the flank that's already been pushed. It would have been better, I think, to pincer the enemy, force them to have to fight on two flanks, help our team better. He's basically spending two or three minutes just traveling. He can't actually affect the battle. So it's actually balanced. And considering the Zhao usually builds range because you can't really afford rate of fire with how slow the turrets traverse already, it would have been a better strategy. Now, the Shimakaze, he has remained stealth this whole time. He's actually capturing the base. We might actually win just on capture. The enemy cruisers are panicking. They're rushing towards the capture. So are the battleships. They feel like the game is over in seconds if we don't react. And it looks like they're actually getting in position to stop the capture. And look how close! Oh! Enemy Des Moines moves into the capture, completely halts that. That's no longer a strategy as long as the Des Moines is alive. And it's basically full health, so it's not going to die. The Shimakaze, probably going to die. Probably has already used smoke. And he's in a corner. It's not looking good. Now, this Hindenburg looks to be heading towards the capture. I'm trying to get in front of it. Maybe hit him with a torpedo. And yeah, they actually hit the Shimakaze there. We lost 50% right there. We're going to lose the other 50%. Yeah, completely gone. No chance of just capturing the base. We pretty much have to kill him. Or have more points at the end of the match. There's seven minutes left. Completely possible. We do have an advantage. For whatever reason, the Zhao is playing at near max range when he has friendly battleships in close quarters combat. So he's probably not hitting all the shots he'd like to. It looks like this enemy cruiser, he's going to avoid the torpedoes. I have to wait another minute and 30 seconds. Is he going to fit himself in? Are you kidding me? Oh, man, the game's just not fair. It's just not fair. And we completely miss, of course. We're not going to hit anyone else. There's a Montana over 11 kilometers away. He's pretty scary, but I don't really know how impactful he has been. He does have two kills. But are those really two kills, or is he just finishing off securing the kill? We have a Yamato, who is also pretty healthy, pushing forward. I don't know why he is focused on a battleship, but who he should be going after is the Hindenburg and the Des Moines. Doing a quick check. Okay, so the Montana is focusing on the Yamato. Our torpedo systems will be up in 30 seconds. I just can't do anything. I don't have enough DPS to justify being visible. And the Yamato is just sailing into death. It's just over. Yeah, his guns were pointed towards the Montana. You don't do that, okay? I'm sorry. You just don't do that. The Montana is not going to give you a chance to kill him. And he finishes off the Yamato. So with the Yamato dead... We just have a Zhao and myself. 1,200 hit points against a fleet of four. I've got my torpedoes back up, and I'm going to send him against the Montana. I feel like he's going to straighten out, go towards the Zhao. I let him accordingly. I'm looking for a torpedo strike on his unsuspecting ship. He shouldn't really interpret anything other than, I've recently fired. I'm a battleship. I should be visible to the Zhao. There is no tell that I'm here until right now because I wanted to back up the strategy. Maybe I could deny them enough tick rates that we would end up with more points. If I get a kill, 
then they have to kill me because I know the Zhao's going to die. We all know the Zhao's going to die. And it looks like the Montana pretty much held straight. We're going to get probably two, maybe three torpedoes on him. Not enough to kill him outright. One, two, we earn high caliber. We cause flooding. He's definitely going to use damage control in that scenario. We have to wait a minute. Looks like the Des Moines has realized, oh no, we're being captured. I need to go defend. My Zhao, I have no idea what he's doing. Don't know if he's firing on a battleship that's very low. <laughs> the Montana's looking at us. I'm not going to allow you to see me. I've got about three kilometers, give or take, of room. I'm going to try and stay as long as possible before I start moving out. I do have a smoke charge, and that is an advantage. And hmm, the Zhao is firing on the Hindenburg, so he might actually kill him. The Hindenburg is using his heal. He is taking damage, a dot damage, so probably a fire. And now we have to move. We have to move. The Des Moines is getting within 600 meters. Ha! Ah, he thinks we're in that corner. We are not, Des Moines. We are not. 20 seconds on torpedoes. Boy, if I had my guns, we could really help the team much more than we have. But we're doing as much as we can, I feel like. You really have to be a little heady with your torpedo when this is all you got. You can't risk your ship. Now, torpedoes are basically back up. We could send against the Des Moines. Friendly is able to take out the Hindenburg. He has to run. That's all he needs to do. I've pulled basically 60% of the fleet. And no, he dies to the battleship probably. So I resign myself to send against the Montana. Maybe we can kill him. We've got two minutes left. This is probably going to be the last torpedo strike. The Des Moines thinks I probably headed north through the gap. That would be a logical thought. But I might have sent them a little bit too far in advance. And I think he's actually moving slow. We will get two at least, it looks like. But I don't know if two is enough. Ah, it's so frustrating. We're not going to be able to see our strikes. One, two, we incapacitate something. We cause a flood. But I think it's been long enough, especially with premium damage control. He's going to be able to put out the flood. And he's using a heal again. One more, maybe two more torpedoes would have been enough to take him out. This game. Oh, man. There's about a 10 second difference between torpedoes. So I would basically have to be right on top of him when I send my torpedoes. He is angling towards the eastern side of the map. I'm going to try. We've hit 11 torpedoes. Not bad, I say. But it's just not enough, really. It's really frustrating. And I would say my frustration mainly stems from the initial engagement with the Destroyer. When I took 15,000 points of damage, and I really didn't get a lot out of it, that Destroyer was dead. We lost two turrets that would be so useful right now. So useful right now. Now, we got 30 seconds left. I type a GG because I'm trying to bait them into maybe relaxing a little bit. You know, you got to use a little bit of gamesmanship. I really did feel like I could get this guy. It probably would take 15 seconds to get there, but that's just not enough time. Obviously, there's not going to have a chance to get the torpedoes in range. Some would say, why not use your guns? There is no way I'm doing 17,000 points of damage to a target and not dying at this low health. I had to rely on my torpedoes. The real mistake was taking that much damage at the beginning of the match. It really does limit my options later on in most of these games. So we earned a ton of credits. We got first blood, devastating strike, high caliber, two kills, 11 torpedo strikes. 1,787 base XP in a loss. That Montana, that Des Moines, they did a great job. We did around 150,000 points of damage, and it just wasn't enough. Gotta stay healthier. I hope you enjoyed seeing this game. Learn from my mistakes. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.